Well, hey, my friends, guess what? It is the second month of our Two Bills to Blow challenge, and I am so excited about this month's challenge. So if you are unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, let me fill you in. So the Two Bills to Blow challenge was the brainchild of Nikki from Carrie Grace. She has a blog, and this was originally a blog post idea that she did. And the idea is that you get two bills to blow, so like $200 bills, to blow in any room to make it over, to freshen it up, to give the space a new look. You can maximize that $200 by um, finding frugal finds, or you can blow it all on say just like one or two really big ticket items. It's super, super fun to get really creative in a space and get those ideas coming to life if only with pretend money. <laughs> um, so this month we are doing our dining rooms and I'm really excited about this area. And I'm excited about this challenge because the areas that we're working on are actually rooms that I need to kind of make over. So I will leave my link for last month's video, which was our living room, down below as well as up above. And I'm also going to link to all of the participants down below. Y'all gotta check these gals out. They're so good. Um, and go and look in their channels a bit further because they've got a lot of really, really, really great content. So that's kind of the challenge. That's the idea. We're working in our dining rooms and I'm gonna share with you the look before and then I'm gonna share with you my thoughts on how I wanna change up this space. Okay, so this is our dining area. I mean, technically, this is our entrance area, but it all leads into just one very small space. The door that has the yellow wreath on it, that holds our electric panel, the water shutoff valves, and um, I have my brooms and mops and things in that little closet that is not a coat closet. Behind this other door, right here, this white one, that is our bedroom. And then this is the wall. <laughs> I've got some yard sale stuff over here and my dishes that I'm kind of working on. Um, so yeah, so this is my tiny space. So I'm gonna walk you through and share with you um, the changes that we are actively making in this space as well as some things that I would like to do with my imaginary, wish it was real, $200. Now, as much as I would love to separate this area out, I can't because it is a part of um, my dining area. Uh, my son pulled up the register thing right there. I've got to put that back together. Um, so since we don't have a coat closet in this area, we are finishing up a board and batten project. We still need to do the top board and we need to install the hooks mud it, um, and then paint it to finish it off. So that area needs to be finished. We already have those supplies purchased. What I would like to do on the top, um, initially I wanted to put a shelf up there and to add some seagrass uh, wicker type baskets on top and some picture frames. However, this area, um, the top of the board and batten is quite tall. It's about as tall as I am, so just under five feet. Um, and it just doesn't make a lot of sense to have a shelf and basket up there. I had purchased one and it just seemed way too high. So I think what we will be doing in this very top area is to just hang some uniform picture frames with some black and white photos. I'm going to insert some clips, um, some photos that I have to serve as inspiration. So down here, this bench is fairly new. However, it's new in the sense to me, but it is secondhand. I'd had my eye on this piece for quite a while um, in the store, and retail it was about $130 on sale. And I picked it up for $60 secondhand, and I was so excited. So what I would like to do with this area is to change out the pillows. So this pillow right here is just a white pillow and I've just put some fabric over it. I've um, kind of just safety pinned it and tied it on um, because the fabric wasn't big enough to even pretend to make a pillowcase with it. 
And then I've just got this one. Um, the fabric is from Ikea, and this is actually a pillow form and a pillowcase from Ikea. And then I've got this little pillow here. This is actually something my mom cross-stitched, and I just have the mattress ticking side there. So I want to change up the look as far as the pillows are concerned. And I would love to have a um, pillow that says Home Sweet Home. And I would use a pillow form from Ikea, which is around uh, 5 to $6. And I would use my vinyl cutter and uh, cut the words Home Sweet Home on it. I sort of had mentioned that in my last Two Bills to Blow challenge as well. So I'm going to leave in some pictures of uh, pillows that I would like to put here and a few inspiration photos. So next is this little area here. This is um, a piece from Ikea, and this is where we store our shoes. It holds a ton of shoes. However, I'm not super duper crazy about what is on top. Um, hello. <laughs> um, I just have this little basket here um, from Michael's, and this kind of holds our outgoing stuff. What an eyesore. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do on top of here. As you can see, I have a lamp, and that watermelon is a Scentsy warmer. So I don't know. We'll figure out something to do here. I would probably just use decor that I already have on hand because I have some other spots of where I'm going to blow my money at. Let me show you. Da -da -da! the lighting <laughs> we need real lights in here as you can see even down in the hall there we need another light as well so um, just here in my entranceway as well as here in the dining area I would like to show you the um, lights that I have in mind for this space So then lastly we have this giant expanse of a wall and I have not done anything with it. We have planned to board and batten this entire space and so that's why I have just stopped from doing anything. Um, as you can see here we've got some measurements so it's sort of already in place and we have an estimate about how much it would um, potentially cost us to do this and I am guesstimating that it will be around um, 50 to 75 dollars and one reason that we want to do that board and batten is because our eating area is so small oftentimes the chairs will rub up against the wall and that is Really the main reason that you have board and batten beyond um, just it being decorative, it really does serve a purpose so as not to ding up your walls. I would also use some of the chalk paint that I have on hand that I kind of used for my last two bills to blow challenge and I would refreshen up our chairs. Um, the paint has sort of started to flick off. I had used uh, some chalk paint but I never sealed my chairs and that is a big tip if you're going to use chalk paint you need to seal your um, your products um, or else it's going to flick off and I found that to be very true in this case and if I have any room left over in my budget what I want to do with this wall is I want to hang some picture frames what I'd like to do is have a ledge of sorts and um, put a bunch of varying sized white picture frames. I want to fill those frames with pictures from our times at camp. Um, it's always a special time of year for us and I have some beautiful pictures of just the island and my kids um, at camp and it just brings back some really really special memories. I also have some driftwood that I've collected um, from our time just recently at camp and I want to put it on that little ledge. So I'm going to share with you an inspiration photo of what that looks like. And I would imagine that I am way over my budget at this point. I think my lights have probably pushed me over. So if I'm being realistic with the budget in mind, I would probably do at least one light and then I would do my um, picture frame treatment here. We can always get away with board and batten later. We'll see if that's in the budget. I'll go ahead and break everything down in the last slide of this video to kind of share with you what I would do and the cost that it ends up being.
So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mini tour and my thoughts on what I would do to change up the look of this room. One thing I'll be doing with things that I already have on hand is to change out the decor on these shelves. This has been up since about spring and I'm ready to freshen it up into something new. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a really great day. Make sure to check out the ladies down below and I will chat with you later. Bye.